Good morning, students. Today I am going to continue the uh, third chapter itself in that exercise course. This is the fifth standard session number thirteen. Okay, in mathematics it is the thirteenth session and exercise is exercise four. Okay, we fill in the blanks first from the number they have given here. Fill in the blanks. Two fives are ten. Two threes 
divisor into quotient plus reminder dividend is what 3699 they have given the dividend but they didn't give the divisor divisor into quotient okay what is the quotient 231 is the quotient plus and the remainder left is 3 so what you should do first we have to take the last number that is in addition form when you write from the left side you will be from the left to it comes right means the signs is also changes 699 minus 3 equals to divisor into 231 
3, 3 minus 2 is 1. Then we have to take the 6 down here, it will become 1800, so 1386. Better you go for the 5. 5 and the 5, 5 threes are 15, 5 twos are 10, 10 plus 1 is how much? 11. Okay, so then go for the Try the next one that is 231 into 6. 1 6 is 6, 1 3 is 18, 12. 2 6 is 12, 12 plus 6 is 13. Okay, 231 into 6 that is 1386 is the answer and the quotient is over and the divisor is how much? 16. So 16 is equal to divisor. Because what we got the quotient from that we have divided the answer. So on that by dividing that we got, got the divisor. Okay students so got it? Next go for the fourth Roman number. Find the quotient and remainder without actual division. Without doing division you have to find the quotient now. And reminder without the actual division. The first question for what they have given is 5,164 divided by 1000. Okay. Once I will uh, show you how to do that one, you will get it very easily. Okay. Take it 5,164 divided by 1000. So for 5,000 for which it is nearer, so better you can make 5,000 into 5 is 5,000 and 164 is the for the remainder, quotient is how much? 5. Okay, do the columns for this quotient. Okay, quotient and the remainder. Quotient. And a reminder. Okay, first question they have given here is it 5164 divided by 1000. I have shown you what is the portion we got. It is a 5 and the remainder is 164. Okay, because the 5000 will convert into 5 and 164 is the remainder. Second one 62,847 divided by 1000. So, what the question we will get now? Eight hundred and forty-seven. So directly go for this 
six, you will get the six thousand here. Okay, two eight two seven as the answer. Because we have four digits, no? Still we can do division. Next is two. Six two is a sorry thousand into two is two thousand. And eight hundred forty seven is the remainder. Because we we do, if we have four digits only, we can do the division because the divisor have we have divisor in four digits. So eight forty seven is the remainder and sixty two is the quotient. First number will become the first two numbers. Okay, if they have given the five digits, if they have given the five digits, means it will become the six as the quotient and remaining uh, remaining will be the remainder. But they have given only four digits, so considering the four digits, first one number sorry, sixty-two is the quotient, and eight hundred forty-seven is the divisor. Sorry, remainder. Third one is eighteen thousand two hundred seventy-five divided seventy-five divided by. Ten thousand. Okay. See here, how many digits are one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five digits we have, and the last digit one is this one. One will be the quotient, and the remaining four digits are what? Reminder. That is eight thousand two hundred seventy-five will be the reminder. See here, in the same way, also got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, which is the last number that will be the quotient, and the remaining three will be the reminder. Okay, when it comes uh, from the thousand, hundred, ten thousand, in that numbers, not for the whole numbers. Sir. Seven lakhs twenty-three thousand four hundred and fifty-six divided by ten thousand. Okay. What's the uh, here we have the five digit number one two three four five okay five is up to here okay seventy two will be the quotient and remaining the what is the four digits are there now three four three thousand four hundred and fifty six will be the quotient sorry not reminder seventy two will be the quotient and remaining all is what A reminder. Sixty-one lakhs, sorry, six lakhs, twelve thousand three hundred forty-five is divided by ten thousand. Okay, this also. Which are the five digits? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and remaining this two are sixty-one is the quotient and two thousand three hundred forty-five. Is the reminder and sixth one is eight lakhs eighty eight thousand eight hundred and eighty eight divided by one lakh. Okay, one two three four five six one two three four five six. Okay, what is the sixth place eight? So eight will be the quotient, and remaining eight eight thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight will be the remainder. Okay. Now come for the seventh one. What is there in the seventh quotient? That is twenty-three thousand. Not twenty-three thousand. Two lakh thirty-four thousand five hundred and sixty-seven is divided by. One lakh. Okay, six digits are there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So two will be the quotient, and remaining three thousand thirty-four thousand five hundred and sixty-seven will be the remainder. Okay, students. Now come for the eight and nine. I'll write here. I'll do it here only. Eight one is eight lakh seventeen thousand five hundred and sixty-seven divided by one lakh one lakh. Okay, and the quotient will be 
for this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, here are the 6 digits, 6 digits. The last number will be the quotient, 8. 8 will be the quotient and the remainder is 17,567 is the quotient. And 9th one is 17 lakhs 